So this is uh, check your understanding question three from rotational motion from the book Pathfinder. It is an interesting question. So question is that a disc of radius r it is rolling on the inner surface of a stationary coplanar ring of radius two r. So you see from you understand from the diagram this is a ring of radius two r and this is a disc of radius r. If u is the cent u of if speed u of the center c of the disc is constant. So you can see this, right? This is constant. The speed is constant, not velocity. Velocity can't be constant. Then write coordinates of point A. This is point A, right? The point which is in contact, the point of disc which is in contact with the ring, that point is A of the disc, right? But that point is on the disc at time t. As a function of time t, we need to find out velocity of this, uh, not the velocity, sorry, coordinates of this. At instant t equal to zero, the point A is in contact with the ring. So that is clear from the diagram. So let us see it's an interesting question. And once you understand the motion, then you don't have to do anything. Now the point is first look at this diagram. Since the speed is fixed, if I want to find angular velocity of this point about the origin, origin is this point ring is fixed. Then it is u by r like this. Fine. So let me mark here. This is u by r. Now since it is rolling on the inner surface, then now if you focus on this point. Then instantaneous velocity or relative velocity should be zero. So the disc will have about its center of mass one angular velocity like that also. That is also u by r. This is two r. This is r and this is r. Right? Fine. So is this understood? So the point is that in time t, whatever angle this radius vector is going to rotate, the same angle. This point, this radius is going to rotate about the center. Do you understand? Okay, so let us see from the diagram. Diagram is very clear. So at time t, center will rotate how much? Let us say theta. This angle is theta. Theta is omega t. So center has come here. Fine. Now this line, this C A line. Remember this velocity, angular velocity is with respect to center, right? This is the angular velocity of the disc. So, with respect to center of mass, this line is now horizontal, straight, initially. In time t, how much this will rotate? It will rotate in this direction, right? In anti-clockwise direction, by the same angle because angular velocity is same. So, from this line, it will rotate theta angle, same theta angle. Fine. Now, after that, if you see the diagram, you can now find out by yourself. This angle is theta. See this angle is theta, and this is also theta. That is only possible if the point A is here. Then this angle and this angle will be same, and these two angles will be same. So surprisingly, point A is not moving in y direction. The y component of its displacement is zero always. So this will always you understand why? Because this is rotating by the same angle. And from this line, it is rotating in anti-clockwise or opposite direction by the same angle. You know, so you don't take this angle. The common mistake is you start taking the angle from here. Right? It's not that. This angular velocity of this about this line, angular velocity of this line is u by r. So this is theta. This is also theta. And since this theta and this theta are equal, that is only possible when these two sides are equal. Fine. I hope you understand this. So y is equal to zero, and what will be x coordinate? This is the point. So x coordinate also. It's very easy for you to find out. This is r theta. So x coordinate is just this length, which is r cos theta, r cos theta, two r cos theta, and theta is omega t. So this is the answer minus two r cos omega t, and y component is zero. Right. So watch this video again. It's a very good question based on the you know how well do you visualize the rolling motion fine so that's it that was my analysis if you have liked this analysis please give a like to this video and please subscribe to this channel also thank you very much all the best we'll meet in next video